we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Uh, time to actually build this thing. Where's our construction train? Here we go. Don't know if one lap will be enough. So, let's schedule two. Because I'm pretty sure we don't carry that many recycling facilities. Or any, actually. Uh, any recycling facilities would be good. They do only stack to five, so we need uh, five stacks of them. I might just go grab them. It's literally just up here. Um, do we have recycling facilities left over? Not that I can see. Uh, and did I make sure the sound thingy is working? There we go. Okay. Uh, what was I looking for? Recycling facility. I need like 25. I believe it's 24. Probably don't need to be carrying all these. And onward to the build. 96% on the science. Not in motion right now. Uh, we're looking... For, oh, I remember. I changed the provide stack threshold over here, so we're still looking for another... Six and a half stacks before we pick up the deep space science packs. But actually, we've got 8.5k. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I didn't actually... I, I think I didn't actually transfer... Yeah, the Arcospheres that we collected over here. Uh, why don't we... Why don't we have this train deliver it just once? Arcosphere... All of them, please. I don't know if the, uh... 864 degrees per second? Yeah, these do swing faster. For the individual swings. Why are we not... Why are we not putting the Arcospheres... Oh, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Almost a full cargo wagon of Arcos. That should make uh, this contraption a little bit faster. Or a bit more consistent, which is kind of the same thing. I don't know if we actually need more than one chest for any one of these. Oops. Didn't mean to copy that filter. Uh, I guess it's fine, actually. We'll just copy them from up here later on. Come to think of it, Omega at the top feels weird. It'll sort itself out soon. I imagine. Okay, where were we? 47 Arco Spheres. Fantastic. Go drop off over here. And come back to the mall. Cool, cool, cool. Did we actually finish building this already? Except for the modules. Fantastic. Module inserter, go. Uh, and we're going to need a lot more modules, of course. Uh, 
All right, let's go build the mirror image of this thing. Gonna need some cliff splodes if I don't have them on me. Uh, construction train might have them. Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, we do have some cliff splodes. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we can... Not exactly just copy, paste, flip this. I'll get the floor train to do the floors first. And we already got the cliffs. Just jump into the editor to figure out what we're going to do here. Okay. Um, I guess it's probably easier if I don't just delete this first. Hurry up. Dylan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, I'm going to get rid of the parts that we can't flip. Come to think of it, I don't think I made train stop names or anything for the outputs, but it's fine. Alright, uh, get rid of signals. Looks like you forgot a belt in the design. Uh, I'm sure we'll see. Whereabouts? Two hundred and forty signals for one rail block, ignoring the overlaps. Okay, so we should be able to copy paste flip this, I think. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and we want recycling facilities. Set to scrap. Uh, speed sixes. Put in some power just so that we can see the ratio here. One, two, three, four, five. Plus thirteen hundred. Plus one thousand. Seven. Four. Double is only 200 kilowatts. Crafting speed 7.65 or 7.3, who cares. All right, so that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go there. And there. And then we just need to do some train stops. Right about here, and here, and here. Oops. I guess that's fine. And I think we want to limit the front wagon, right? Okay, active provider, I'll worry about the station names a little bit later. This one doesn't need any more. That should pretty much be it. Okay. Copy. 
pasta right about here. Rail signal is in the way. It's this one. Oh, that's, yeah, that's supposed to be a chain signal. That's fine. Uh, do we have room in the construction train for like five stacks? Not really. Uh, it might be easier if I just go grab 24 of these again. Alright. Two laps. Should be enough for everything else. Uh, I'd better grab some speed modules though because those machines won't be there for the construction train. Output of the top half. Okay. Um, what was I looking for? Recycle. And a bunch of sixes. Easy enough. Alright, I'm sure that's enough. Oh, I probably should have dropped these off while I'm here. Boop, doop, doop. Doop, doop. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. That's that's bugging me. There we go. You accept the standard of the build that you walk past. Cool, cool, cool. Now where are we going? Did the construction train just steal that? It did. I hope it doesn't get over full somewhere. All right, that should be everything. Now, what are we missing? We haven't belted this yet. Is that what you meant? This is the inside. And this is the outside. Oh, don't tell me the construction train just left. Ravna, can I just flip this? It's already done. Good, good, good. Uh, however, we do need this. That rock is a bit off-putting. Okay. Let's just double check everything that's missing here. It's just purple belt. Should be able to reach it all from here. And we need to do some station names. So this is rare metals, raw rare metals, and uh, heavy oil. Active provider. High priority, 60k. Fluid threshold. I could set it a bit higher so that the train... Uh, the fluid will get pumped faster when the train comes. Uh, and probably more than 100 stacks. Unless I want to limit this side. So like 105 should be fine. Should be more than fine. So that one's for rare metals and heavy oil. Uh, then we've got iron ore. Uh, 
No need for fluids here. Copper ore. And stone. Stone ore. Cool, cool, cool. Copy pasta. Should be able to copy paste flip these two. Wait. No, it's like this, isn't it? That's iron, that's iron. Fantastic. Alright, so all the station names should be up to date. Uh, and I should probably add a tag here. Scrap recycling. Scrap recycling. Fantastic. So all of that should be online, except some of the drop-offs didn't have any scrap yet, weirdly enough. Uh, I wonder if I didn't set requests for the scrap just yet. We need to do that upstairs. Whoa, no thank you. That's a bit cluttered. All right, it was over here. I haven't tagged it all yet. No, I did request scrap on both sides here. Uh, and I haven't requested anything on this side. That would probably help. Okay. Did we do train schedules for these two yet? Um... I don't know. Oh, right. Yeah, we did. These two are ready. And this one is ready. And this one must be in motion. Okay, so we're looking for... Scrap, Energy 1, Energy 2, and Data Cards. 10k each. Oh, not recipe scrap. Trying to pull one over on me. Energy catalog. Broad energy catalog. And what was the other thing? Uh, thingamajig. Machine learning data. Well, looks like there's already an amount of all of those things downstairs. Actually, I see no energy two. But there is energy two. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Uh, where are we looking? Over here. I should really tag this already. Scrap. Uh, input signals doesn't have broad energy catalogs. Why not? They're right here. There's like 10,000 of them. Just, just, I think it's exactly 10,000. connected to the same channel. Twenty five K, thirteen K, ten K, and one. Ten K broad energy catalog. Inputs. Oh, right, I have to switch this off. Yeah, 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 this is what we've actually got. Okay. It was just... It, it, we didn't see a signal for broad energy catalog because it's literally exactly balanced out uh, for a zero signal for broad energy catalog from between the constant combinator and the items we've actually got. So we're looking for... 
15k uh, machine learning data right now. 3.4k catalog one and 10k scrap. In other words, it should be trying to deliver scrap and machine learning data. Uh, where's our machine learning data? There's plenty of it. So what's going on? Short trains, long trains, all kinds of trains, wires connected. Uh, output is positive. I misread it. I think that means we've got tons of machine learning data here. Yes, yes it does. Okay, cool. So that means, uh, I think it means we've caught up with the scrap processing for the moment. Hello, hello, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's no belt at the beacons. At the beacons. Oh, output belt? True. Thank you. So that goes here. That goes here. And that one's already done. Uh, and this, we don't have tier 9 modules. Nor would this be our highest priority. Okay. Construction train once again. That should be enough. And that would be why this hasn't drained out yet. And there's some more scrap. So we can see this is working. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. It's got a little bit of catching up to do. But there's way more than enough throughput on this belt here. Nice soup. Alright, I th think... I think we've finished these two builds now. Oh, uh, did I finish the LTN requests? I think there was one more to go. Alright, so we're looking for... Catalog, catalog, uh, quantum, and scrap. And I'm pretty sure all of those are stack size 50 as well. And we've already got... 27k, 24k, 10k, and 0 downstairs. So it won't trigger any train deliveries unless it just happens to uh, to call for scrap. So we won't have a demonstration that this is working just yet. Quantum processor and scrap. Cool. I think that's done. And I think we can retire uh, this thing requesting scrap. Oh, also... Uh, I think instead of lowering the priority... Uh, we already bumped this above normal priority, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, uh, so scrap will come here first as a priority, and if that's full, uh, it's going to go downstairs to get removed. And we've got four drop-offs, four train schedules to make that happen. So this is bio catalog 133. Uh, broad and comprehensive. And this is scrap energy one, two, and machine learning data. Uh, K 
Clap one, two, bioelectric and scrap. I see bioelectric. Doop a doop. Fantastic. And scrap. And last but not least, material three, four, quantum and scrap. What a mess. I, I guess that tells us what this does. It's very busy. Uh, did I tag it downstairs? I did. It's a bit more readable here. Kind of wish you could, like, copy-paste the tags. Alright. Um, so that's all done. That means all of the... I think it means all of the items that we bring downstairs uh, that we need to make modules. We've sorted those out. Fantastic. That means we can redesign the module build. Wunderbar. And this whole thing uh, should be deconstructed. Let's go grab the last of this scrap. Uh, actually, I could just... Which one is it? This one? I could just borrow this train. Wait here till inactivity. And then go down the elevator. And it won't matter that the scrap is imbalanced. Uh, and it might take one more than that, just a little bit. Oh, you're already picking up scrap. What's going on here? Do all of these finally face the correct direction? We got the first one right, copy-pasted it, and then uh, some of the other ones were wrong. Or so I thought. That's weird. Looks like it's okay now. And we'll borrow this train to get the last of the scrap out of the old system. Cool. And that means we can now... Uh, where is this train? Still over here. Oh, that's right. You were going to decon all this. Sorry to keep you waiting. Dantel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might just remove this whole block, honestly. It's not really super necessary right now. And maybe we'll fill this out. Hopefully we've got room in the train to do all of that. Test, welcome in. I think you also missed loaders and undergrounds on the bottom right. Uh, scrap bulk rail loader. That would not surprise me. It does feel slash sound about right. From my short term memory. Alright, we'll come back to that in a sec. And yes indeed. Did we put filters on these? Technically we don't need them. Uh, but we do need the actual belts. What is with this lurch? Oh, right, because we're, we're, we're forcing all the trains to repath every single time we pick up a signal.
Alright. Should be able to build all of this. And fill it out. Space transport belt is in the way. Oh. Oh, I see. I think I added some mess over here. Oops. Can we fix that up? Oh man, this whole thing doesn't need to be here. Where does that go back to here? Nice and clean. Okay. And we should still have room to pick this up. Uh, I guess we'll tidy that up as well. Oh my god, where do I draw the line? In before I end up adding another block up here anyway. Just a little bit more. And... Nice and tidy. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I was going to grab this train to decon this block. But it's looking a little bit full for now. I think we'll send it back first. Build this on the way home. And then head down here. And I'll just mark all of this for decon worry about the scaffolding on the next lap. Oh. Now then. We can finally redesign our modules on the ground, and I think we can probably get all of this done in one block. Maybe. Surely with tier 6 plus modules, that's not going to be difficult. Uh, the only place that we could use prods here is making the solid fuel. Uh, I guess these are the biggest machines we can use to make solid fuel with K2. Uh, it says there's a big old fuel refinery, but we can't actually make those. I think there might be one... I know you can cheat them in. There might have been one, like, in a box somewhere that we found just once. Fuel refinery. Big one. Storage. All surfaces. Egan Orbit. Here it is. There is exactly one. Uh, what kind of stats does it have? S uh, crafting speed 1. As opposed to... Crafting speed 2. 
crafting speed one. Well, that's not going to help. I wonder if it has more module slots or something. Uh, I guess uh, we can find out. Heal ref. Solid fuel. Usually light oil is best. You can prod it? Oh, yeah, we just realized that. Uh, yeah, but there's only three slots anyway, and it's the same crafting speed. The machine's just bigger. Kurinya, thank you very much for the five months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Pardon me as I struggle not to sneeze. All right, let's get rid of this. And see if we can't do modules one through six, seven, and eight. Uh, six for efficiency. I think it's prod seven and speed eight before they go upstairs is what we decided makes the most sense with stack efficiency for sending things through the space elevator. All right. Let me just double check that. Uh, yes. Six, seven, eight. All right. So we know we need... Uh... How many different items? Okay. We've got these filtered chests, so it's easier to see what we've got here. One, two, three... I think it's in sets of four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six different items. Solids. Dropped off to make... Modules one through three. Do we drop off fluids over here? We do. Lubricant. We can easily do a two fluid drop off. Um, I'm pretty sure the throughput for fluid is quite slow. It literally just goes into this one. 500 lube to be fair, but that's to make a speed eight, which is pretty expensive, pretty slow. But it, it could go with through a whopping 351 lube per second if this never stopped. Um, but yeah, as for the light oil, probably going through a lot more light oil. Um, this was all ratioed pretty well, I think. What goes into... Okay, so speed one eats solid fuel. That's the worst, actually. Like, for how much oil speed modules are going to cost, uh, if we're putting it into the first tier... That's like the most expensive place, probably. Because it doubles and doubles and doubles as we go up the tiers for the costs. Uh, but a single speed wants 10 solid. Which is like 100 light oil if we ignore prod bonuses. So... Yeah, 10 times 10... And then uh, speed two wants that doubled, so that's 200. And then 400. So it's kind of like, it's less than 400 light oil per speed three. All of the fluid goes into speed modules. 500 lube for a speed 8. And it takes how many 3s to make a speed 8? Uh, times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, times... Two. I, I, it lots. It, it, it takes lots. Whatever. 
Um, anyway, we could just do a like a two fluid drop off for that. Um, we're definitely going to do a big old bot drop off for the solids. The solid throughput is not that fast, um, but there's many things that we need to drop off. Uh, I guess let's count them. We've got one, two, three. So we've got three chests per thing that we're dropping off here. Uh, 27 is 9. 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wait, some of these are like speed, the like previous tier modules. So 24 minus 3, 21. Uh, 22. 22 solids. Plus one fluid. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29. Good grief. 29 different solids dropped off to make all the modules on the ground. Oh, wait, I stand corrected. I, there's even more over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so like 35 or something. Uh, I think it's like 34 different solids that we're dropping off to make modules. Good gravy. That's going to be so much fun. Making the LTN requests that I think I will just not do that from scratch. Uh, let's copy paste from our existing blocks. Although the new version, if we do do it all in one place, we're not going to have to request module threes. Okay. We could spread it out over a couple of train stops if that's easier. Now, how fast is our old build? Or how fast do we want or need this to be? Hayaku. Rouse. There we go. Alright, so we know we need solid fuel. Uh, let's just slap together the bare minimum number of machines first. We need module one, two. Maybe I should use an auto crafter. I did. I did that before. It's a bit messy. I don't really want to do it this time. Uh, and we're going all the way up to eight for the speeds, aren't we? Good grief. That's actually taking up a lot of space. Maybe I should do... How much overlap is there? Maybe I should do, like, all the speeds in one place... All the prods in one place. Nah. It's fine. Green circuits, green circuits, green circuits. There is a bunch of overlap. Uh, so this is... Prods. Might be easier if we started from blanks. What the fuck? And this goes to seven. And this goes to six. Or 
before it goes upstairs. Uh, and what supports do we need? We're making solid fuel on the spot, uh, copper cable on the spot, and I think that's it. I think the rest is just... just bots delivering things. Why don't you go all the way to 9? Because uh, it makes more sense for how much stuff we move through the space elevator to stop at, for example, 6 for efficiencies, 7s uh, for prods, and 9s for... or 8s for speed. Because upstairs we've got... Uh, let's see. Speed 9s. Nano material is made in space. Deep space catalog is made in space. Uh, Cryonite slush is already up here anyway. Um, efficiency three, uh, efficiency seven. Quantum processes and comprehensive catalogs are made in space. Uh, efficiency eight. You get the idea. Uh, all of these materials, except for cryonite slush. Yeah, everything except for Crynite Slush and the modules that we're bringing up from downstairs are made in space over here. Uh, and downstairs... What was it? Uh, we needed to bring a bunch of catalogs downstairs, but the rest, I believe, was earthbound. Yeah, it's literally just a few catalogs. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven catalogs. Which is not nothing, but uh, I'm pretty sure we did the did the math. I don't really feel like doing it again. Now, can we fit everything under a wide beacon? Obviously, we could do better ratios, but if we make the machines fast enough, this is easily going to be materially bottlenecked anyway, right? Pro probably. Wait, how do I want to lay this out? BG Nymond, Owen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh boy, modules, indeed. Um, we can't prod any of the modules, right? It's only... Uh, it's only the copper cables and... Uh, and the solid fuel that we can prod. I irrationally love module builds because of how unique they are in that they need a lot of ingredients in both quantity and variety. Indeed, it's very different from pretty much everything else. Alright, let's say we settle for... Settle for module sixes. What the... Oh, right, I see. I see what you did there. I'm sure this is going to be way faster than we can keep up with materially. And it's not like we benefit from productivity bonuses. Um, so we'll probably just go with this. Plus 1300, 10... Okay. And... Which one needs the upper cables? I think it's efficiency modules. Yeah. And probably nothing else. 19 per second. Okay. So how fast is that? Uh, way more than 19 per second. Let's use a little baby... 
assembly three. And that way our two prereqs can just be chilling here in the corner. Okay. Can we elegantly fit this all under one beacon? Preferably with something resembling symmetry? I guess not. I think we'd have to really squish it. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather it looks neat. Also, I don't particularly see the need to have such a long line for the speed modules. Maybe... Maybe something like that. If I snake it around, we could have the two fluid inputs in about the same spot. And we'll obviously need some requesters for the rest. Uh, I guess I could squeeze them in between. This would need a limiter. If I make them green, I wouldn't need any, uh... Any wires here. What number is this? Four. Speed module four. Less than... One. Actually, how much does this take in? Two. We get like less than ten or something. Now, what's the ratio like between these? Negative, 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 negative. How fast would this be if we could material keep, materially keep up? 1.1 speed eights per second. There's no way we need that. But how fast would it be if we could keep up with, like, the first one materially? It's actually very negative on the solid fuel. Oh. It's still negative on the solid fuel. We need, like, a couple of these. That's still negative. I don't like it. What about here? Same problem? Uh... I thought, I thought we were positive on copper cables with just one machine. Huh. I, we probably were with a big one. Yeah. That is so much faster. Crafting speed 15.5, crafting speed 3.8. Wow. The Hunter Gaiman for Weekly. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm just following random people. Uh, thank you, I suppose. Is this meant to go all the way up to tier 9? Uh, it will... Not all on one surface, yes. How fast are you planning to produce them? I hadn't really thought about exactly what my target is, to be honest. I just want something that'll kind of 
fit comfortably and not be super slow. But, I mean, the real bottleneck is going to be, uh... Is, is going to be... Material inputs, anyway. Let me just put that down here. And move these over. Uh, and I guess if just one machine of this is all we need, then put that over there, I guess. That's nice and consistent. I guess we could flip that around. Whatever. Um, I don't really like that we're going to get 2.433 efficiency ones per second, but this one's going to be bottlenecked. I kind of want three of these. even though it looks a bit naff. Don't tell me that doesn't reach. Move, it, move these in one as well. And... What are we doing with the prod modules? I don't suppose this is going to fit. Oh, it does. No, it's one off. It's one off. Why you gotta be this way? Why you gotta be this way? Uh, I don't suppose... Nah. This is already as far north as it can go. Unless... Why can't I flip? Um... I put this down one, squeeze these in here, looks kind of naff, but it works. And we've got the prereq starting here, that goes that way, that's okay I guess. Shouldn't the prereq be here, but we've got eight of these. Flip the speed build so you can scoot the whole thing a little bit left. Indeed. We could move this like four tiles to, to the left and right. One, two, three, four. I mean, obviously this could be on the other side as well. One, two, three, four. And we could potentially do some prod module shenanigans in the middle. That looks really, really tacky, though. I'd love it if we could just do them in a row down the bottom, but we're one off. Cringe. Maybe we could pack these a bit closer. Does this accomplish anything? Maybe. 
maybe. And then... It's pretty sketch. Looks more than a bit sketch. I don't think you're getting both symmetry and fitting the build in one beacon. I mean, you didn't, you didn't have to lay it out so bluntly. Ah, these are five by five. This is four by four. We were so close. You know, we could probably use um, smaller machines for later on in the build. Like, like even one step in here. I don't, I don't want to build like multiple machines for each, so that the ratio is better. Could always just remove some speed modules, but yeah. Hmm. Wide beacon not wide enough. I think I'd rather just use a pair of them. And have something more like... Uh, visually easy to follow. Like we've got over here. Although, if we do them in lines like that, it's going to be pretty long. Maybe that's fine. Speed. Uh, prods. Efficiencies. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. You think too hard, go blow something up. Rug Stealer, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you to, uh, see you again. And what should we nuke? How about this? Let's not think too hard about it. Could run efficiency in a single line and change the prods into a double column instead. Perhaps. Any reason you're not going for tier 9s? We are, but some of it gets done upstairs. We already did the build upstairs. Uh, it's actually right here. Just waiting for, waiting for us to finish this build. Oh, and also we could probably do better incorporating the system. We, we don't need three trains to bring these things up. We'll, 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 we'll address that a bit later. I'm really a little bit, okay, not that surprised that we can't fit this all under one beacon. Um, so, what if... No, that's right, we just barely can't do rods under one beacon, can we? What if we put this here, put this here, and put this here? It was speed and efficiency that needs the... Rex made on the spot, right? Good day. 
Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess there's no, like, symmetrical place to put this. Let's just do a drop-off station first. We might even do two just because there's so many different resources to drop off. Then again, the smaller the area that the bots have to cover for this, when the drop-off happens, the better. Oh yeah, how many items did we say we needed? Like 34. Maybe that alone means we should split it into two requester stations. Um, a double train brings a hundred items. A uh, hundred stacks, rather. If anything, I want to over-report what we've got to LTN. I don't want it sending extra stuff while the bots are unloading. Uh, and we need... yeah, the reason we had at least three storage chests dedicated to each resource over here was because we're asking for like 150 stacks, I imagine. Nope. Uh, 120. In any case, it's more than two chests. How much can we easily fit around here? I want it to be a mixture of very uh, compact, so the bots don't have to go far, so they unload quickly, and nice and neat so we can see what we've got. I might even just steal from what I've already got here. Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Welcome on in. We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Dare Eichler, welcome in. Welcome in, Veldak. Um, do I just steal from myself for this part? I'm very tempted to just do that. Like, why... Why redo all of this? Okay, part of it needs to be redone. Otherwise we won't be able to fit the other train stop. We'll just have to move this one. And then for symmetry we'll have to move the other one. Can we please have a robot network? Just so that this stops flashing at us. Twitch Mobile made me raid in manual mode? What does that mean? Is bot dead? What do you mean is bot dead? Bot lane? Theft is legal and cool. Huh. I didn't know they legalized that. Welcome in, Solburn. C blocking. Fantastic. Um, and on this side, can we just steal from ourselves? Uh, we haven't really done that much with this one. Okay, never mind. And 
probably do the same thing for the fluids over here. Anyway, I didn't realize it'd be such a big task to redo modules. I think we should put a mod, uh, module. I think we should put a beacon on each side. But then we can't have a straight line for the speed modules. Um, now output stations, we're just going to have three of them, right? Hmm. Atomic Nature, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? I think we might do a special case for the, uh, uh, for trains bringing stuff up the elevator. We might do like a short train version of what we've got over here. Because we definitely don't want to be waiting for a hundred stacks of any type of module before it gets sent up the elevator. That 50 stacks is already a bit extreme. Could even do smaller cargo wagons, because 40 is a lot. Are those buildings floating in space? Uh, indeed they are. Indeed they are. Actually, what's a good... What, what's a nice pretty build we have in space? I don't know. But here's science. Oh no, it stopped. We're missing Singularity tech cards. That's not too surprising. I saw those were not full earlier. Why are they not moving? Deep Space Science 3. Which just got delivered to the mall. Uh, the labs. Fair enough. Why are we not making Deep Space 3 right now? Naquim Tesseracts. Uh, I think they're just slow. It's not a material bottleneck, because we haven't sped this up yet. We did already do 26%. Holy! I didn't realize Factory Spaceship 13 was 2 million. We've done 26% of that already. So, yeah, that's looking a bit better than I thought. Um, but the goal is to be able to go... Three per second continuously for any one uh, research type. And currently this is bottlenecked on 2.6 with the speed modules. Anyway, uh, yeah, we were just redoing our, our module builds. Because we've got a new system for bringing things up and down the space elevator. Also, because we've got more materials available, we should be doing this faster. Why aren't we doing this faster right now? We're actually short on rod threes. That's unexpected. And speed threes? What's, what's the holdup? Electronic components? Huh. Didn't we have a new build for that that should be plenty fast? We're just picking them up now, actually. And it's going to circuits. And those were empty. How many electronic components are we capable of eating right now? From circuits alone, 93 per second. Uh, how much can this build do? 72 per second. Okay, that's not off to a great start. We should probably make another one of these. Uh, modules would like 40 per second. 
I think we should probably double this build. Let's put a copy of it down here. Uh, but first, oops. Might need to delete that. Cool, that should sort itself out. Compo goes here. And we don't even need to grab a construction train. Four trains are already on their way to drop off ingredients. Uh, and that'll give us 145 electronic components per second, which is probably all we need overall for the moment. Probably. Alright, back to the build. We're definitely going to need more wide beacons. Can you move over a bit? One up here, and one down here. And I guess I'll put these off to the side. Um, can we put all three of these in a line over this way? Maybe. What's the least messy way to do this? It's beacon sickness, right? But then we can't reach with the assembly machine. Damn it. I really want it to be neat and tidy like this. But maybe... Maybe we start with that. Start with this one down the bottom of these ones. Couple of tiles apart. So that we can fit... Wait, that's like three tiles apart. I mean, that's fine too. And this would have to go... It actually just touches these ones. That can actually go up here. It's not super symmetry, but it's better. I like it. I think it could work if you... if only two tiles apart. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, so we've got speed on the left, efficiency on the right, prereqs up here, and I would have to do chests to the side for bot delivered inputs. 
Well, this one would have to be a bit different. It's probably fine. And live with that. Come to think of it, um, okay, some of these are shared, but for the, for the ones that only have one machine that requires them, like, say, small electric motors. Toparoko, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we could probably store most of, wait, no, it has to share several inputs. Never mind. Just like that. That's pretty tidy. Uh, I guess we'll do the light oil on this side. Pipes are going to be a bit messy no matter what I do, I think. Unless we use long arms here. I'd have to move this over a little bit. We don't actually consume that much light oil. I think it's probably... F Wait, is there room? Can we just do it like... Like this? No, it's one off. Uh... Gross. We also need lubricant. Lube might actually... Why was that giving me a bub up? Okay, let's say we do lube like this. And we'll do light oil like this. That doesn't even reach. Boo. Yeah, why does it do that? That's weird. Alright, we're going to need a bit more Roboport. Um, don't really want it overlapping if we had a block nearby that needed Roboports. Might need this to reach over here as well. We could maybe do some minis. Uh, small Roboport. There we go. Much better recharge, not much range. Fantastic. Something like this. Okay. And we need how many, uh, storage slots? We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen solids that need to be dropped off over here. Fantastic. Alright, I think we'll just do three containers for each. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That should be fine, I guess. Uh, and we need which one was which? This one. And this one. 
So except for requesting uh, tier 3 modules over here, all of this is pretty much going to be the same. I probably don't want to... No, that's fine. 120 stacks for each of these. Uh, and if we're requesting 120 stacks, then three chests should be enough. 48 times 3 is 144. Even if it's somehow over-delivered a little bit, it shouldn't overfill. Um, and we're just going to measure... We're just going to read what's in these chests. Never mind what's in the robot network. For LTN. Gonna have to set these filters anyway. That looks weird. That also looks weird. Can't win. Okay. Zaiden, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Taparako, welcome in also. Uh, Twitch really glitched out when I joined. Okie dokie. Alright, so should that be functional? We need to set the filters on these. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. Um, solid fuel. We never did end up making that in a different spot. Did we? Pretty sure we didn't. Otherwise it wouldn't be here. Uh, let's see. Solid fuel. Product. I didn't mean to search all surfaces. How's your day going? Uh, not too bad, thanks. A bit, uh... Struggling a little bit physically, but otherwise... Otherwise okay. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Galzu would like a nuke. Too bad you get no points when... Watching VODs. I'm sorry. Alright, where, where should we nuke? How about over here? Get out of here, Sand Crusher. Or is it Rock Crusher? I guess it's... yeah, Stone Crusher. Fantastic. Did I mark off the reward queue earlier? Probably not, because I haven't opened my browser since I rebooted. Oops. Reward queue... Uh, is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. And do not eat all of my CPU, please. There we go. I say we take off and nuke the entire site. Uh, Kale, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It's the only way to be sure. Here's a nuke. Just for you. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, so. Wow. Wow. One whole year. Eagle Wolf, thank you very, very much for one whole year. Much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and Mr. Game Attack, thank you for the follow. You're so good to us, wipes to you. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, I I hope so, but I'm not sure what I just did. Okay. Um I kinda wanna group things together 
in a way that's sensible here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. But we don't need to request solid fuel. Let's put the circuits together over here. Green, red, and blue. Uh, and then we've got... I guess we'll do electronic compo, glass, and copper. Glass. And copper. That's the top row. Small electric is kind of on its own. How many things do we have here? 18, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I don't think we need anything up here, actually. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. That looks weird. Uh, so... Emocyte crystal... Sulfur... A small electric... Battery... Vulcanite block and cryonite block. Uh, I mean, there's no such thing as a cryonite block. Uh, you know. Alright, that should be that. We're doing long trains only over here. This one's short trains? I don't remember what... Oh, it was because it was needed to pick up the small... Uh, the module threes. Don't need to worry about that here. That should be fine. And... Bots should be able to take care of all that. Uh... So I guess we're just doing shift right, shift left now. How, how much are you asking for? Really? Okay. What if I empty these out? Shift right, shift left. That's a little bit more reasonable. I don't really want to go to the trouble of typing all these out. Okay, no, that's... That's ridiculous. Let's take the uh, speed modules out. It's still going to request 12080, which it would go through how quickly? Eight seconds. Okay, that's a bit much. Can we just... I'm just going to put four stacks. For each thing. What a pain. Don't need that. Um, Uh, 200. Just need to do this another 27,000 times. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what is this stack to? 40. 4, 4, 16, 1, 16. And 200.
stacks to 50, right? Oops. 3,206. Roughly specific. Alright, I guess it's quicker if we shift right, shift left these first. And just update these. Type, 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 type. Bio-scrubber. Vitamelange. Uh, Vitalic reagent. And finally... Epoxy. Alright. Last but not least is efficiency. I guess we don't need to request that. This, however, is going to need copper plate. What does the name in base do? Uh, you can put your name in the base. Just like this. Tamer, welcome in. Literal, yes. Yes it is. And we're kind of full on the ones that are up the space elevator. I mean, we do have a second space elevator, but we don't really look at it very much. Okay, where were we? Hundred. Uh, eight hundred. I'm sure that's overkill. It's fine. As long as, as long as it's a bit overkill, and also, we're not overfilling the chests. Wait, that stacks to 50. And we're almost there. Chromium solenoid. 200. Four stacks. Cool, cool, cool. And then we just do some outputs. One, two, and three. Actually, put it here. Um, and we need some train stops. And I still haven't decided. I was thinking we could have one dedicated train to bring these three tiers of modules up the space elevator and skip the whole generic drop it into LTN because there's only one place this is going. Um, and we could do away with having three separate vanilla schedules to, for these, perhaps. So we'd need some kind of We need some kind of transmitter system. We'll need a receiver uh, dish. 
So we know how many we've got upstairs. We'll need a train stop. And I think a short train is more than sufficient. Uh, maybe we'll put it over here. Or here. Blueprint? Oh, uh, you can find blueprints on the Discord. Uh, and pretty soon I'm gonna send... I'm gonna upload a copy of the save as well. It is more than half a gig, so... I, I didn't get around to doing it today. By the time I realized before stream, it was a bit late. Uh, Alright, so let's just do short train for pickup, because 50 stacks of modules represents a lot of investment with high tier modules, and what I'd like to do is some kind of... Some kind of dynamic system where we put things into the train. Depending on depending on how much we've got upstairs. So we we can fit up to 48 times 3, 144, let's call it like 120 stacks. I mean, we could just aim for like 100 uh, for each module type. That's two short trains. Positive numbers from upstairs for how much we've got. Um... And let's say we've currently got 50, uh, 100, more realistically the larger ones would have fewer, 25. So that's what we've currently got upstairs. Uh, can we read... Oh, we probably don't want an LTN train for this. Although... Nah, it's fine. Um... We're going to have a vanilla train stop. We're going to read train contents. So we know what's in this bulk rail loader and or the train. We'll have the train schedule as something like... Uh, go, go here. Leave when circuit condition. And when should a circuit condition be met that we send the train upstairs? When anything... When anything from upstairs is less than 50 or something. And we could just put stuff into the train willy-nilly while we wait. 
is one way we could go about it. No, we we want to make sure we don't oversupply like efficiencies, which are the the easiest ones to saturate. Something's going to be the easiest one to saturate. I don't know why we haven't been accumulating more sixes lately. Or have we, and I just haven't noticed. 1.2 per minute, prod 6. 1.3 per minute, speed 6, over the last 10 hours. Last hour, it's only speeds. Hmm. Hmm. What if decide a combo? What if any signal greater than 50? That's a little bit short. If full cargo or if circuit conditions something, we leave the station. What circuit condition makes us leave the station? Uh, if we're desperately low on anything from upstairs. If anything less than 50. That's going to include the transmitter signal that we should probably include. It doesn't have to be transmitter 1. It could be like transmitter 100,000, signal transmitter, to make sure that we are getting a signal. Alright, so if... If we're down to 50 of any of these upstairs... Where is it going to read from? I think it's... I think we could probably just do red wire here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring the floor train. And we're going to need a signal transmitter. Which is here. Uh, and we'll probably use a red wire, just because the green wire upstairs is already connected to LTN here. Signal transmitter. Uh, and we should have a constant. Right about that. Transmitter. I guess a hundred's fine. Just some constant so that we know that it's working. So we can check if we're actually receiving a signal. Uh, if we are receiving a signal and anything is less than 50, I'm pretty sure anything less than 50 with no input doesn't output the check mark. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But once we connect it to something, it does. Cool, cool, cool. So zero signal doesn't count. Uh, 
uh, if anything is less than 50 output train or something loco um if we're full or if we receive that signal Wait, wait, wait. If we receive that signal and we're not empty, but there's no not empty check here. The magic eight ball says don't count on it. Wait, what? That came from me. I didn't know I had that switched on. Did you murder the bot with a big spoon? Wait, what? El Pancho, Gosen, welcome in. Pagahondra, welcome. And you're welcome. Welcome and you're welcome. The bot is deadged. Which one? Which bot is dead? Um, we can check if the train is empty by... Reading train contents and reading stopped train as train ID. Train ID is going to be like T a million or something. Uh, are you technically at the stop? Now you are. Yeah, 27 million. Uh, but I think if we just say if everything equals T... Uh, if everything is equal to T, every signal that's on the input to this is equal to T, then we know that the train is empty. Um, and we want to say... If full... Or... Can we do multiple circuit conditions here? Yeah, we can. There we go. If cargo full, go upstairs. If... Uh, loco... If upstairs wants a train... And if we're not full... Let's just say E for empty. If every signal is T for train, then E for empty. And... And that goes to train. Send to train. Okay. If empty is false. If we're requesting a train upstairs and empty is false, go upstairs. Or if we're full, go upstairs. Seems good. And I might just do a little dedicated supply for the, uh, for the train fuel. Because we can just have one of these to get rid of anything that's not supposed to be in the train network. Uh, in the robot network here. And we can just request one more solid thing. To bring... Uh... To bring some... Power packs. Space... Train power pack discharged. That would... I think that would mean we'd need a short train to drop off. Uh, it would. Alternatively, I could just make the train go via depot. That's probably easier. We do have, like, a... 
short vanilla train depot? No, we don't. Uh, that's a bit annoying. If I send it to an LTN depot, it'll reset, it, uh, reset its schedule. Reset its schedule. Hmm. I could run the train off of solid fuel, which we're already producing here. It's not like it's going to have to make a trip very often. Yeah, let's use a loco for this one. Easy. Don't need much. And... Requesters. Right about here. I guess we could be super... Super efficient and use some burners for that. Okay. Alright, so if upstairs is requesting a train and we're not empty, or... Well, it's not really upstairs requesting, we're doing the decision making on this end, but whatever. Uh, or if the train is full. Then go upstairs. Now what? how do we decide what to put in the train though? Uh, I guess... It's going to be a simple matter of subtraction. So we're looking for... Times negative one. Each times negative one. Output each. Negative one times everything we've got upstairs already. And a constant of... Uh, what we want upstairs. And honestly, we should probably just not have the bulk rail loader, is what I'm realizing. Does it matter if this is connected to itself? I don't think so. Uh, yes it does. Yes, yes it does. Okay. So that just tells the train if it's empty. Uh, I don't think this needs to know if the train is empty. Right? My only concern is as we're filling up the wagon, uh, if I use like a superior inserter filtered... If we're not using stack size 1, which I might just do to simplify it, uh, it could end up getting stuck trying to over-insert a specific, a specific module type when the train is almost full, and then full condition is never met. It'll not send itself upstairs until well until we're low enough on something upstairs yeah I think we'll just like this is doing tier 6s, 7s and 8s I, th I think we can manage with, like, an inserter on stack size 1 for this. Swinging 3.6 times per second. It's probably fine. And we're going to set filters on it. And... I might just... No, this is okay. Okay. Uh, efficiency 6. Prod 7. And speed 8. 
We can fit 2,400. Uh, that's 800 each. We'll just say 700. And we could probably make this available to get these delivered to the mall still, but I think I'll just not worry about it at this point. Alright, so we are setting filters. Upstairs we want like 100 stacks of 6. 100 stacks of 7. 100 stacks of 8. Minus what is already up there. Uh, it will... The each times negative 1 output each will output a negative for the transmitter signal that we're going to be sending through, but the inserter's not going to care. So we're going to set filters whitelist. So if any of these reach their goal upstairs, uh, we're basically going to stop putting stuff into the cargo wagon. We're going to trigger the train going upstairs if any one item out of these three uh, is below 50 upstairs. We could probably also add time passed or something. Uh, time passed and all of this. How do I do that? It's a mystery. I honestly can't tell how I would say, like, time passed and then all of this stuff. Time passed and... Might, might just not be able to put that much logic just on a train. Hmm. Okay. So it's going to leave if it's full. If it's not empty... Hmm. I'd love to not make it go upstairs if it's only got like one module in it as well. I could easily see that looping. Let's get rid of this. We can tell if the train is empty. If we don't read train contents... Oh, sorry, if we don't read stopped train... And we check if there's at least 50 of something in here. We could set whatever arbitrary number. If anything greater than 50, good to go. Okay, so if we're below 50 of something upstairs and we've got at least 50 of something in the train any one thing go upstairs maybe we don't need to check if the train is full in that case and we could probably easily add don't bother going upstairs for like five minutes or something Three hundred seconds passed, and we're down to fifty 
or less of something upstairs, and we've got at least 50 of something in the wagon. And we're putting stuff in the wagon based on what's missing upstairs. Our target is... is this blacklist? Yeah, uh, positive numbers for our targets over here. Set filters blacklist minus what we've got upstairs. Wait, no. That means we'd have to be... What am I doing? Set filters whitelist? Minus what we've got upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems fine. That should be okay, right? I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. And this is going to go straight to the train stop, right? I think that's it. Hello, fellow bot. Beep boop, I'm a bot. Welcome. I, for one, welcome our robot overlords. Alright. Uh, we should probably name this station. Everything requester. For... Uh, modules. I'm just going to say module 1, 2, 3. Or the three module threes, because that's what that's what these requests get us up to. Advanced assembly machine. Cool. That looks a lot cleaner than what we had. Uh, and upstairs, we'll want to make a couple of changes over here as well. Uh, namely... We only need one train stop here. Uh, and this is going to be six, seven, and eight vanilla train stop requester. Train limit doesn't matter. Okay. Is this supposed to... I don't think we need this here, do we? Oh, and... We don't need this at all. Cool. And that just gets rid of the trash. Seems reasonable. Alright. You can go back to the mall. You can go back to the mall. May or may not need to empty this out. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see. And we need to go ahead and overhaul all of this now. Done. Let's get started. Um... I think I'll mostly do this just directly. Oh, of course. How silly of me. It's in range of the construction train. Was that from the decon train? It was. Uh, all right. Might have to do some more manual decon here for certain things. Let's turn off the requests for now and get rid of this for now. 
Kind of want to update the floor for now. Oops. And uh, that'll do. Uh, and we should probably turn off the requests over here for the small modules. Decontrain plus, indeed, indeed. Alia, welcome in. This sounds weird to me just because I'm actually writing a Twitch chatbot. Indeed. What about the output for the low tier modules for science? Oh, crap. I knew we needed that for something. That's why we have these. Uh, so we need... Where, where do we need the low tier modules? Speed 1 goes into... Rocket Tech card. Wait, what? No, oh, here it is. Where's the drop off for that? Here, here it is. Uh, there was one or two others, right? I thought. Is it only speed ones? Uh, module. Efficiency one goes upstairs. Goes to utility science pack. And prod one. Goes upstairs, go to goes to prod science pack. I think we already have the Yeah, here it is. One one and tier tier one, tier one, tier one. We just need to give it to LTN, it'll sort out the rest. Uh I think we can probably just add some train stops for those. There's plenty of space for that over here. So let's do that. Um, preferably in the robot network. But not too cramped. I could do a uh, overly complicated bot supply thingamajig where we share train stops, uh, share one train spot uh, stop for these three, but I really don't see the need. Uh, what I do see the need for though now, now that I realize that this goes into science, uh, is to make sure we have a certain amount of throughput. So for rocket science, um, we only need, like, less than a tenth of three per second. 2.5 per second should be enough for our goals. Um, I imagine that's not going to be much of an issue. Wait. No, I, I meant to say 0.25 per second, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 0.25 per second should be enough. Specifically for science. And this can do 1.2 per second. That should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe... Oh, there's no room. For this to be a consistent pattern. Um, maybe I'll do a green chest for those science packs so that we can measure without a circuit wire. Oops. Uh, God damn it. Two, three, four, five. Having trouble focusing today. 
Uh, so yeah, if we request speed, efficiency, and rod. I feel like efficiency should be on the right, actually. Uh, and we say, like, basically that this has to be full before we let any of it go to the high tier modules. Um, speed module greater than 100 or greater than equal. And that'll be prod one. And that'll be efficiency one. Uh, and then... I guess we could just put this here. Just make sure we don't over... Overfill this chest either. Solid fuel less than a hundred. Speed one uh hello, speed one less than a hundred. Front one and E one. Cool, that's at least kind of consistent. I uh, forgot to request the solid over here. And now we just make some standard pickup stations. Ride stack threshold 100. I guess short trains or long trains are fine. I don't know when we would be using short trains here, but they'll work. And that's going to be... I guess it's easier to copy-paste this. Oh, we're using the belt thing here. Whatever. Wait, where am I? Confused. That's prod one. And that's efficiency one. Nice and simple. I guess they don't have to be this far in. We could just use some more small RoboPorts. Right about here. Really, we shouldn't need more than one RoboPort for the whole thing. That seems fine. Okay, so is this it? Is this the build? Perhaps. Yep. 
Yeah, that just might be it. All right, let's make room for it. Uh, which is easier said than done. We need to move some of these. I guess I can just... You'd turn this off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shove that in there for now. Wait, no, wait. Okay. Let's limit these chests for the moment. Okay, could you... Could you just finish that one job and then stop, perhaps? No. Guess not. Bots, why? Right? How many Logi bots do we have here? Whatever, we're gonna pick them all up anyway. No, the flashing! Okay. Uh, I believe that makes room for what we're planning to build, right? I think so. Fantastic. And... Don't need these, though. Uh, I think that was just leftovers. Yeah. Okay. In the old system. Trains are going to grab that stuff. Probably get the chests first. And shove it all back in here. For the moment. stuff. Get it out of here. Alright. Then we've got a whole lot of modules. Hmm. I might just make some some temp chests over here. Oops. Is this outside of the robot network range? Nope. Guess I'll just grab it. Oh my goodness. Um... <laughs> Kind of went a bit too fast there. That's a lot of speed sevens. Kind of. Into the boxes with you. And shove it all in here. Maybe not that stuff. I think left fourth row are not connected to green wire. Left fourth row. Oh, this one? Indeed. Uh, Sizu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Right, so let's just shove this back in. Don't forget the data. Alright, are we just about ready to do a big old copy paste? We kind of need to move all this stuff from the old. Oh boy. Okay, one thing at a time. Let's copy pasta our modules. Why does that not line up? Not sure. And need to switch this off. That's probably fine, actually. Gonna need 50 Logibots. Let's go grab them. I think they're around here. That's construction bots. There we go. Don't get hit by a train. Logibot. And we might need the construction train to swing by. Might already be in range. No, I think that's a little bit far. Why are the Logibots not doing things? Because they don't have as much range as they should. Do we have small Robopores here? We do. Do we have them in the construction train? We do. No? Yes. Okay, cool. Hurry up and finish loading. Or I guess I could just come get them. Where are the small... Oh, they're being put in the train? There we go. Oh, they've already been placed. Fantastic. Alright. Looks like the bots are already doing their thing. We should be able to switch this back on. Probably won't oversupply anything. Pro probably. We hope. Uh... I guess requesting four stacks of each of these kind of gave the bots a lot of initial work to do. I would have thought they'd prioritize the active provider chests, though. It's kind of strange. Did we finish building this already? We are missing two burner inserters. Burner inserters. Do such things exist? They do. Here we go. Oh. Uh, and we didn't actually... Replace that bit of rail. Oh yeah, we need locomotives. How novel. Locomotive. Ah! Okay, that was a little bit close. Locomotive. You know what? I'm sure a regular cargo wagon is more than big enough for this job. Car 
go wagon. Alright. So this won't have to go to a depot because it'll just get fueled here. Uh, what's this stop going to be? Six, seven, and eight. Provider. Vanilla train stop tells us it's for vanilla schedules only. And first stop is here. Wait for... What was it? Wait at least five minutes and then wait for... Circuit condition? What was it? Locomotive and check signal. Sure. Locomotive signal if we're receiving a signal from upstairs that is below 50 for how much we've got upstairs for something. And check signal means we've got at least 50 of something, some specific resource uh, in this wagon. We could obviously tweak those numbers a bit. Okay. Where's our... Oh. Wait, no. No, we've got our light oil. I just forgot to put a pipe here. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to have that limited. We need room for these. So that should already be functional. Um, what is this requesting again? Six, sevens, and eights. Yeah. Don't kill me. Oh, that might be a problem. Also, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the requests for, like, sixes over here as well for this specific occasion. I guess I'll just have to insert them directly. Okay. So, sixes, sixes, uh, sixes, what a mess, sixes, sixes, Sixes. Threes? Well, threes need to go over here anyway. Did I not request them? Oh, this is ones. What am I saying? Okay. E threes. Uh, I guess I could just shift C over here. That'll get some of that done. Speed sixes. Go in here. Should we keep using speed sixes for our builds though? Rod sixes for a while? They're a nice balance between effective but easy to make for the moment. 
Uh, and apparently we don't have room for the copper here. Why don't we have room for the copper here? Oh. That's a larger number than it should be. Hmm. Good grief. Good gravy. Everything, everywhere, all at once? Wait, what? Rut row. Oh yeah, we need to output the... We did output the module ones, didn't we? We've got the copper cable. We're looking for electronic circuit. And electronic components. Maybe I shouldn't have requested like four stacks of each thing from the bots. Oh, and yeah, we need to set this signal up up here. Okay, so what channel is this going to be? Uh, I don't know, space modules. I want to kind of give it some some icons. Uh, let's just say nines. Nine. Nine. And nine. Okay. Space modules. And space modules. Alright, so we are receiving a transmitter 100 and nothing else. If anything less than 50. Oh. It doesn't give a zero signal. So I guess we could just add it to the constant over here. We could just say efficiency six, prod seven, and speed eight. So now it thinks it has one of each. Therefore, anything less than 50 is true. Therefore, output locomotive. Therefore, all conditions have been met to leave the station. Now we just need to give it a schedule of going up and down the elevator. And... Uh, where's the train stop name that I'm looking for? It is... 678 requester train stop. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. Wait till empty. Down the elevate. Why can't we add this? Okay. Down the elevator, pick stuff up, up the elevator, drop off. I kind of want that in the opposite order. Up the elevator empty, down the elevator, wait 300 seconds, wait for less than 50 of something upstairs, wait for uh, at least 50 of something or other in the wagon. Now why is it not leaving right now? The 300 seconds is reset somehow. Huh. I guess that's fine. I, 
guess it doesn't matter if we have the bigger stack size with the way I've designed this now. Yeah, that should be fine. We probably don't have to make this wait 600 seconds. One minute should be more than enough. Cool. Let's ride it upstairs. Can I actually... I can. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go... Even though it's an ancient locomotive. Let's give it some... Uh, is it engine? Yeah. Advanced additional electric engines. Lamau. I mean, we don't want it going super, super slow. And... Slowing down the other trains, right? It's not going to be moving all that often. So I think... Ah, oh crap. Didn't realize I needed 16. Guess I'll have to request it again. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? Oops. Okay. So, eight of these. Uh, batteries. Actually, mostly batteries. Should be fine. I imagine. I could always make the timer a bit slower. Anyway, that'll be functional. And away we go. It's not too slow for a locomotive, I guess. Are we already out of battery charge? On the front locomotive we are. So this is as slow as it ever gets, but it should have battery charge whenever it's actually running. Or maybe I give it like double solar panel, double battery. Why is it not a space train? Just because it would have been more of a pain to fuel it. Uh, I just happened to use the solid fuel that we had handy. Uh, and this train is not going to have to make a trip very often. The density of resources and time that goes into high tier modules, uh, it's a lot. So like 40 stacks of... Uh, 40 stacks of modules is going to take a long time before we need to send another train. Still, uh, I don't want it running this slowly. That's why I put the uh, additional electric engines in there. And here we go. If Our very first Efficiency 7. Where's our beacon here? I don't think we have beaconed yet. We have no modules here, just uh, just vibes. And that is our very first speed nine. Forty percent done. Well, not our first speed nine, but the first speed nine that we built, as opposed to found. Fantastic. Very, very cool. And I guess the bot network is just going to shove the finished products in here. 
Yeah, it's going to go back to the mall once there's one of something. Okay, that might be a little bit excessive. Let's wait till there's a stack. That might take a while, but I can always just come over here to get modules if there's a few. Cool. We're about to see our first Prod 9 getting built. Glorious. Absolutely beautiful. When do we get our first efficiency nine? Um, uh, it's coming. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll change this to like five minutes or something. Or even ten. But like, we're playing catch up getting rid of these efficiency modules right now. Uh, let's see if the system for limiting how many we're putting into the train uh, is actually working. So it's down to 3.7k. Once it reaches zero, we're going to stop putting efficiency sixes into the train. Uh, and upstairs we have 1.2k. 144 stacks is 7.2k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it that should prevent it from overfilling on efficiency mods up uh, modules upstairs. I could probably set the request for these a lot lower actually as well, so that we stop overproducing efficiency modules sooner. Um, and we can focus our resources on other things, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that will do. It's like 20% and that's like 5% charged up. I think I should just put another solar panel here. And that'll probably be enough to make sure there's always battery charge. Okay. So, fully automated luxury modules. Fantastic. Copper's still a bit over full here. Uh, this is all looking a bit over full as well. Or, or at least the bots haven't caught up with emptying it for the initial drop-offs. Uh, I still need to empty out and decon all of this. Kind of wish I'd transferred it over before all of this. I mean, it's probably fine to just shove all this back into the mall. We, we do have a lot of modules I could at least salvage, though. Let's grab the tier ones first. No, 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 no. Let me go. 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 Okay. Didn't realize those robot networks were connect. Oh, that's right. That was from when we were draining out all that mess from before. All right. Efficiency ones. Uh, and we can. Do we have any construction bots here? We do. Uh, we can probably get rid of this now. Nice. And... Uh, we're still draining out the old Bida research data, right? 
Should probably leave that there. But I think we can remove the RoboPods down here now. Cool. Don't tell me it dumped robots here. It did. Oh, we're going to decon this anyway. It doesn't matter. Alright. Let's go grab... Well, first of all... Shift C? No, that doesn't work. Efficiency 5. Rod 6. Rod 5. Rod 3. Speed 4. There we go. Why do I have antimatter reactors? Whatever. Uh, that's a lot of efficiency ones, actually. Alright. I think it's going to be easier if we just... Honestly... Do we have any construction bots here? We do. Okay. Uh, if we just decon the storage chests... That's going to summon the train. It's going to take a few trips, but that will get everything sent back to the mall. And I guess... There we go. Grab all of this as well. I can just decon everything, right? Except for the robo ports. Just gotta be a little bit careful. And the power, of course. Don't really care about. There's no light oil left here anyway. Good old, can't someone else do it. Alright, that should get most of this block to deconstruct itself. Nice. I guess we'll just check back on this later. Anything that we've got more than 150 stacks of uh, in the mall is going to be offered to LTN. Uh, but some of that's not going to find its way back here. So we'll just check in on that later, I guess. For all the random modules we've got left lying around. Hey, there goes our train again. It's mostly full. Uh, it looks like that was the rest of the backlog of efficiency modules, though. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. I think it's about time to take a little break. Uh, I'm quite satisfied with that. Let's give it a little save. And we should probably get some words on stream. Uh, and Tame wants a name in base. Sorry, I missed it earlier. Let's do that. Name in base. I did see them say, let's go. 
Didn't notice that was part of a Naaman base. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Words on stream? Hello? Emu, Emu Bob, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Copy pasta. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Am I muted? Oops. Mic reversed, indeed. Thank you for pointing that out. More light oil coming in. How fast does this drain? Not super fast. I mean, that's to be expected. Going into pipes here. Alright, vulcanite block goes here. Try not to die. And... That's not what I wanted. Nope, we're fine. I mean, no we're not, but as long as there's room for whatever's being dropped off. Oh, don't tell me it dumped another train in the, like, two seconds that I was moving the electronic components around. No, I don't think it did. I think it's because we're actually kind of low. I don't know if 50 Logibots can keep up with this. Like, I would have expected to see their activity settle down a bit by now. As we run into some material and or machine bottlenecks. But it's not happening. It's not happening at all. Oh yeah, I forgot we're insert a bottleneck on some of these as well. But the amount of resources it takes to pour into these, I'm really not concerned about that. But more to the point, I don't actually want a bot bottleneck here. It's kind of... kind of cringe, actually. Why do we have efficiency threes over here? Oh my god, there's there's no room. Uh Um I guess I'll just hold on to these. And the rest should sort itself out. We're out of heavy assemblies? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Big electric motors. That's not the bottleneck I was expecting. Big electric. We moved over here. Uh, it's missing lubricant? Oh, I didn't switch this back on. I think it was because we were trying to drain the old big electric motor build. Where is it? Is this... no? No, I think these are all... tech cards. Where's the old big electric motor build? Did we actually get rid of it? Did I forget to... Did I just forget to turn this one back on? That might be it. Also, how are we doing for a Wow. Okay. That's the new build of electronic components that's totally saturated. Um, oh, we already did tag it. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good sign. Seems like we're doing okay. And there's our big electric motors. Which we probably only ever need one machine for. Why are we not... What? Oh. I must have deconned... One of the robo-ports. There we go. The one storage chest wasn't within range of the robot network. So they weren't emptying this anymore. He 
Here comes our trash train. Burp. All right. Uh, what were we trying to fix? Who knows? Hey. We're actually not asking for the train to go upstairs at the moment. I didn't expect that condition to be met so quickly. So we've got... 357 speed 8s. 121 prod 7s. And like 2.3k efficiency 6s up here. That's cool. How many uh, final products do we have? 32 speed 9s already. 13 prod 9s. And 7 efficiency 9s. That's a little bit more than I was expecting already, somehow. Cool. Nice. I like it. We should probably put a beacon over here. I'm sure we'll be resource bottlenecked even without the modules, but still. Now, if the bots could just catch up with all of this nonsense. It probably sent a bunch of extra trains because I was moving this stuff around, though. I should just leave it. They'll probably... They'll probably catch up eventually. Um, for the moment, let me just get rid of these. And, and I think that's it. And for some reason, we're only making prod sevens at the moment. Heavy assemblies are not coming because we didn't have big electrics for a minute. Uh, efficiency fives, fours. That there's a there's a missing inserter here. That that would probably help. That would probably help. So that explains the mystery of the missing module production. I don't suppose we already got some more... Nope. Hmm. I know this is 2.1 per second. 128 per minute. Big E. Last 50 hours. Is 23.2 per minute. So yeah, this is probably more than we need. Uh, maybe for the whole playthrough, but that said, it is taking its sweet time catching up for the moment. And that'll be a bottleneck for our speed modules. It's fine. Shall we do some spaceship shenanigans? Oh, also... Do we even need a trash train for this block? I don't think so. There shouldn't be anything in it that doesn't belong. If I don't insert it. Yeah, I'll just leave it like this. Cool. What's next? What is next? I kind of want to leave modules running for a bit and see how many we have. Uh, how close are we to this emptying? 600 years? Cool, cool, cool. 986 cargo rocket sections. Um, 
science should be churning through them bit by bit, though. Did we already put space probe rockets on the new system? No, I don't think so. Space probe rocket. Nope. Can't remember where... Where we are bringing them upstairs, though. I guess we can search. Uh, storage. Oh, here they are. Yes. Yes, we are. Manually stopped. Oh, you're the old space probe rocket train. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, could you... How many do we have here? It's not super full. Could you please drop off over here? Probably should have made that a temp stop. Oh, it's on it's on manual still. Go here, wait till empty. And come back to the mall. And we'll retire you. Uh, and I think we've already got a train somewhere for taking space probe rockets upstairs. I think. Where the heck was it? Is this it? No? Good question. Uh, where was it again? It was with AI cores, Nequitite Crystal. I think we must have been in the middle of this and didn't actually finish it, actually. Solid rocket fuel, etc. Okay. Solid rocket fuel, etc. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, so we just need to update this to be a vanilla... Uh, to be a LTN train stop. Um, do we still have that old build? I think we moved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this just needs to become a provider station. Construction train. Just a little further. And we'll need to do wiring. Uh, short trains along, don't care. Provide stack threshold 100. Probe, rocket, provider, and let LTN know what we've got. Uh, and there's probably already enough upstairs that it's not going to request it right now. Cool. How's our spaceships doing? Did I... Put number 50 in? We did. It's currently waiting to drop off Vitamelange. The fact that we're waiting to drop off Vitamelange is very promising. Because uh, Vitamelange is normally the last resource that we're totally saturated on. 
I am seeing a couple of these blocks with 50% of their output not happening. But I think that would only happen... Oh. Okay, that's what I was worried about. This block is not producing because this output is not happening. Because we've got... 20,000? We've got 20k core fragments on this side, zero on this side. Uh, and therefore it's saying... That we don't have room for another ship. Uh, how about... Set this to like 21k. Okay, it was only the one ship that was waiting to land, but still. The idea was that we make sure there's room to empty the ship good and quickly. Um, before it lands. But... If there's, like, just over 20k between all of these blue chests, it probably means that these two aren't completely full. And certainly won't be for very long. Um, but yeah. The fact that we've got some... The fact that there are any stations with extract totally saturated on the output means that we're keeping up with our demands. So where's the bottleneck? Uh, somewhere that we would prefer it to be, judging by how much epoxy we've got. Why don't we have reagent? Oh, we do. Why don't we have reagent on this side? Reagent goes into epoxy. I see. Need to go pick this up. So the reagent... That's not what I would usually do. The reagent goes into the train stop, which can then go into epoxy. And we have a higher provide stack threshold here. So basically, epoxy is super prioritized. Why? Uh, I think these two front wagons were supposed to be limited. Yeah, I don't think we were trying to make... Uh, 640 stacks of epoxy before we make any reagent. That seems suboptimal. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just even destroy these two. That should sort it out. And turn that back around. There we go. So epoxy is almost full. On this end. Uh, and it is f not full on this end. Does that mean... So we're draining our reagent supply to make a proxy. Oh yeah, and I remember the... That's why I wanted to do it this way. Because just one of these machines is... Is able to do almost triple... Uh, what the centrifuges can keep up with. So we want to build up a backlog of uh, reagent. 
that we can consume to make epoxy. That's fine. I mean, we're keeping up. Like, if there's this much reagent available on the block on the right, then it should be fine. Feels good and weird for reagent and or epoxy uh, not to be our bottlenecks. So where is our bottleneck right now? Uh, it's still Singularity Tech Card, which I have a feeling uh, is going to be to do with Arco's Fit. Huh. Arco's Fears have stopped. And not because it's jammed. Output is saturated. There's no soup. Oh no. There's no soup. Is is this just a train problem? What's going on here? Why don't you think you can go through here? Huh? What what seems to be the problem? Is it because there's a train up here? No? Oh, don't tell me. You're out of fuel again. How are you out of fuel again? Okay. Let's go upstairs. Wait, where am I going? The mall is this way. There, There is a train that's on automatic that's out of fuel that has right of way is the problem it wasn't the signaling yeah i know that had me worried about our thermofluid situation but i'm pretty sure our thermofluid's fine there goes 30,000 Uh, let's see. Thermo fluid. Which, which ones of these are supposed to be full? That's a drop off. Oh yeah, super cold is super saturated. Negative 100 is super saturated. Uh, where's the pickup down the bottom for this one? So on the sides, it's a drop off. A 25 and negative 10. It's also a drop off up, up the top for 25. 25 is looking awfully full. Uh, but yeah, we have plenty available. That should be fine. Alright, uh, where was I? Going back to the mall so I can go rescue that train. Uh, I guess I could use the teleporter here. Boop. I need a charged pack though. Gimme, gimme. Damn it, I haven't updated these to use the bot version. I guess I'll go over here. Rather than scavenging from the belt. Uh, and I guess you can have these. Now where was that train? Here it is. Down this way.
Yeah, didn't we have this exact same situation before? And we refueled it? What? I... I... Okay. I thought I put it on manual. I must have already put it on manual. <sighs> so this is just draining out all the concrete. Is this still requesting? No. Uh, all the concrete out of the old system and dumping it into the mall. And I'm pretty sure that exact same train uh, ran out of fuel before. How much has it got? Okay, the, the other side has 40 space train power packs. I imagine it's got enough fuel to get the rest of the job done. Probably. It doesn't have any batteries, though. Let's just not let it leave. And I'll ride it back to the mall as well. And I figured we'd have to empty this train. Yes, Master. How's our science doing? Uh, still stopped. That's right, because we needed uh, Deep Space Science 3, which had stopped because that train was stuck. That makes sense. That's going to take a little while to catch up. I mean, there's no rush, really, right now. Alright, uh, more fuel for you. Fantastic. And I wanted to give you batteries. Because presumably the fuel wasn't going as far. Because we weren't uh, getting as much as we could from the advanced additional electric engines. All right. Oh, that's probably part of why it was uh, managing to run out of fuel. This was still set to ore. So it would pick up like one refined concrete and leave. No wonder it didn't get the job done yet. Battery charge is actually still going up. So maybe we don't need batteries if the train stays in orbit. Whatever. Better safe than sorry. Batteries are cheap. Okay. Shall we do some spaceship shenanigans? What novelty ship have we not built? What novelty ship were we building last time? Uh, we made like a... This was more or less the final version. You could tweak it a bit. But we made a moderately small fast ship. With only one high temp turbine generator. Uh, I wonder... If we use the double high temp model like this. How fast could we make it go? We'd probably have to make it wider than this because we could fit more engines.
Isn't this already wider than that design? It is. How many engines is that? 18 or 20? And this is 8. Hmm. I think this is all the power plant we need up to a very significant sized ship, and it's relatively compact. Why don't we just trim this away, get rid of the robot stuff. We're not going to use shields for our very fast ship. I mean, we're not going to use lasers. They don't accomplish that much. Well, maybe. You could get them to snipe the little rocks before you run into the shields. It would save a bit of energy, but then who cares? If you've got two gigawatt, right? Um, can we get some... Can we get some power here? Inserters need power too. Good talk. Close enough. That's going to get powered, right? Oh, it might not be enough for the initial... 5,000 degrees. That should do it. Or I could just do this for the moment. Now I need to see what kind of shield layout we're looking at. I want I want to fit more engines. Which means moving these power poles. And... That's as tight as we can get it. Still warming up. I'm thinking like six or seven engines on each side. 